Good afternoon to all uh, registered uh, participants who has um, logged in to join our ICD Section 15 webinar. Okay, uh, for your information, this is our third webinar session for the month of June. Okay, uh, this evening, uh, we have with us uh, our speaker, Professor uh, Laura. So Laura is the Professor of Prosthodontics at the uh, University of Indonesia. Okay, and um, she is currently the Program Director of Prosthodontics Resident at UE. And she's the head, she's also the head of the National Prosthodontic Board Examiner. And she is also a member of the uh, Ethical Committee of Dental School of University of Indonesia and also a member of Professional Committee for the Relationship Between Industry and Business in Indonesia. I say Indonesia. Professor Lara was awarded the professional, professional Teaching Award in the field of prosthodontics. And he also, she also has a patent, have several patents. What I mean is the patent index for TMD specific for Indonesian community. Professor Laura also has another patent, osteo integration prediction in immediate loading. Implant compared with delayed loading in relation to occlusion. Uh, patient Laura also has another patient for index etiology for TMD disorders. So uh, she has got at least three patents eh, in her field of, of uh, TMD. And Professor Laura is a member of the Asian Academy of Prosthodontics, uh, also Academy of Cranial Mandibular Disorders, uh, country representative. He is also a uh, Asian Academy of Prosthodontics, uh, uh, Academy of Cranial Facial Disorder, and then, uh, also the ICP, International College of Prosthodontics, and uh, uh, also a member of the uh, Indonesian Dental Association. And Professor Laura is from American Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine. Uh, she has published over 30 research papers at various levels and also invited as an invited speaker uh, by the Japanese Prosthodontic Society. And also she has written a book on, uh, on temporal mandibular uh, disorders. Right, to, tonight um, we will have with us uh, uh, Professor Laura and she'll be talking about uh, the title of her lecture tonight is TMD treatment during COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia. Professor Laura, now I, I give the floor to you so you may start uh, your presentation. Your, the floor is yours, Professor Laura. Thank you, Professor <clears throat> Ibrahim, for the kind in, uh, introduction. Good evening, dear colleagues, member of the ICD and on also the non-ICD uh, from uh, Section 15. Uh, my name is Laura Himawan from Jakarta, Indonesia, and I'm working as a professor at the Prosthodontic Department, University of Indonesia, Jakarta. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, the President of Indonesian Dental Association, <laughs> Dr. Hernandez Seno, and President of the ICD, Professor Dato, Dr. Ho Kim Chuan, and Professor Dato Muhammad Ibrahim Abu Hassan as the Chairman of Education Committee of ICD Section 15 to invite me and give me the opportunity to be a speaker in the webinar. It's really a great honor for me. Today, I just want to share you what we have done in our country in order to help the TMD patients. So just actually just storytelling, not a very complicated one, especially the time zone in, in different countries are late already. So maybe you are already tired now. So my topic is TMD treatment during COVID-19 in Indonesia. I think in all over the world, this COVID-19 pandemic uh, make everyone frustrated. And since the members of the ICD's Section 15 consists of many countries, 
such as Indonesia, Malaysia, or Bangladesh, or Vietnam, or Thailand, and etc. Before I start, I would like to introduce you a little bit about my beautiful country, Indonesia. Indonesia is the 13th largest country in the world with area encompassing 1.9 million kilometer square and 13,466 islands. Populations is 273 million as June 2020. And we have also 300 distinct native ethnic groups and 400 742 local languages. And besides, we have 31 dental schools, 16 public and 15 private. And uh, what amaze is 18% female students. So the students are mostly female. And uh, now we have about 34,000 uh, 34, dentists. Among them, 4,300 are specialized in orthodontics, prosthodontics, maxillofacial surgery, oral medicine, conservative dentistry, pediatric dentistry, and periodontics. And many people know Bali is a favorite destination for tourists, but they are, sometimes they don't know that Bali is a part of Indonesia. Also the Borobudur Temple, the biggest Buddha temple in the world. And Jakarta is, lies in the Java Island. So we have many islands. This is the, the Java Islands. Uh, out of the 31 dental schools, 19 of them are located in Java, the most, the world's, the world's most populous island. And uh, the 66% of the dentists also live in, in Java. From the seven best dental students in Indonesia, accreditation A, five of them located in also Java Island. And female students are about 70 to, 70 to 80, 70 to 80%. So not like other countries, I think male is more than female for the dentist. So I'm a prosthodontist. So um, I know the female members of the Indonesian Prosthodontic Society is about 69%. Also the prosthodontic lecturers, 53 to 85% are female. However, uh, so the female role in our society is in the society is significant since the members are mostly women. Look here the picture. This is from our uh, prosthodontic department members of uh, the staff of the prosthodontic departments, and they are mostly female. The female role in Indonesia uh, is significant. However, given the prevalence of patriarchy in our society, the highest leadership positions are still typically held by men. Prosthodontics is Indonesia divided into removable, fixed, maxillofacial, implant, and TMD or orofacial pain. On the right, picture is a, a new dental clinic that just reopened after the COVID-19 after closing for three months. And also the pictures of my colleagues from the East, oh, from the Indonesia, sorry, from the uh, colleagues from prosthodontic department. Look, also mostly female. Now we back to the original topic. What is TMD and what is COVID-19? COVID uh, TMD is an umbrella term for pain and dysfunction involving the clinical joint and muscle mastication in the orofacial area, 
and the cause is multifactorial. The main symptoms are headache, chewing difficulty, clicking sound, pain around the ear, and Christmas, limitation in opening. And the COVID-19 is a new illness. This causes the lung for inflammation and resp uh, respiratory problems. And the cause is SARS-CoV-2. And the clinical symptoms is similar to the common cold, two severe complications. Here I'm not discussing about the COVID-19 since I'm not uh, the expert of this. TMJ is a very unique and complex. This is the only joint in our body that moves simultaneously left and right. There is also a discus here, a meniscus, which lies between the condyle and the fossa. And what, what is here, the discus, in the discus we have no nerve and no blood vessels, but the retrodiscal tissue here, rich of nerves and blood vessels. So if you feel pain, it's not because of the discus, but because of the retrodiscal tissue, which forward, move forward. And how about the epidemiology? 50 to 60% of the population at least have one sign or some functional disturbance of the masticatory system. And in Jakarta, Indonesia, we have done a study, 69, 96% of dental students in our dental school have one sign of TMD symptoms. Maybe because they are dental students and they know exactly what they said, and perhaps they are stressed because of the study. But not all the signs must be treated. And uh, it happened all to all age groups, from children to seniors. So from children, the prevalence and seniors is low, but the adult is high. And new cases is 2% per year. And to identify the severity of the pain, we use the VAS the visual uh, analog scale from zero to 10. Zero is no pain and 10 is worse pain possible. Patient have to inform us what she or he feel right now. And after getting better or during this control session, we have to ask her or him again, how is the scale now? The percentage of the signs is always higher than the symptoms since the signs is discovered by the clinicians and the symptoms is by the patients. Patients, many patients do not take any attention if they feel something not proper. They just come to see the doctor or the dentist if the pain is unbearable. So this is a recent study this the, the the population of the TMD is 15 to 45 years old. So the main symptoms are headache, chewing, difficulty, limitation in opening, clicking sound, and around pain around the TMD, as I mentioned before. And another symptoms are pain or discomfort in around the ears, pain with pain in the jaw, facial pain, temples, neck pains, and also gradually become sleep orders patient, insomnia. Since the symptoms not intraoral, so not in, inside the mouth, the patients uh, often go not to the dentist, but to the ENT doctor, to the neurologist, to the medic rehab doctors, to the chiropractor, etc. Now the risk factor of the uh, etiology or the etiology of the TMD is multifactorial, factorial. That is the gender, 
that by or ma'akul 